everyone. This week's episode is all about fashion and textiles. Well, not really. It's actually about Illustrator. Um, if you've ever made some Illustrator files that have got heaps of complex artwork in there, lots of vectors, the files can be massive and end up slowing your computer down. No matter how fast your computer is, if there's 20 billion points in there, it's going to be slow. So we're going to have a look at how to create the most efficient and flexible artwork that you possibly could if you're doing repeated patterns, textures, that sort of stuff inside of Illustrator. So if you're in the textile industry, fashion, clothing, that sort of design work, then this episode of Creative Suite TV is just for you. Creating efficient artwork in Illustrator um, has a number of different benefits. First of all, um, you're going to have a really small file size. We're going to do a comparison of different file sizes and the way we construct our file differently, uh, four different ways actually, so we can have a look at the different file sizes. So that's going to impact how quickly the file opens, how you process various different things while that file's open, um, how fast it's going to print and so forth and so on. Uh, the other thing is uh, creating an efficient file in Illustrator is going to make that file a lot more flexible and a lot more easy to edit, a lot more editable and, and quickly. We're going to do a couple of different things. You can see across the top of the screen I have four documents. They're all identical at this stage and what we're going to do is duplicate them or make repeated patterns uh, based on this artwork in different ways and then compare the file size. However, before we get started, notice that um, these are really complex files. So if I um, do a wireframe view, there's quite a few vectors there. It's not the most complex file I've ever seen, but there are quite a few vectors in there. And if you twirl open the um, layers panel, you'll see, yeah, there are a lot of vectors in here. Okay. The idea is, though, we're going to step and repeat or make a repeated pattern, which is of a larger size of a meter square. Now that's quite small for some industries, but it's big enough for today's exercise. It's a meter by a meter, which is just over a yard for anyone um, in the US. Now, here's what we do. The first one, we're going to create a pattern. So we'll save this file. We select the artwork. This is really simple drag and drop it into the swatches panel and that will automatically uh, create a pattern. New pattern swatch 6. Okay, so that's cool. Now all we have to do is um, create a rectangle that covers our artwork. Oh, I'll just uh, try that again. A little bit slippery on the mouse. Click and drag a rectangle that covers our artboard and then fill it with the new pattern swatch. And then we can see, yay, we've created a fillable pattern. So that's great, uh, very easy to do, and this is going to be a reasonably small file size. The only thing that upsets me a little bit about that is the fact that, well, um, while it looks great and the repeated pattern is there, uh, we can't easily edit, um, you know, if we want to expand that out, if we want to put borders around it, or in fact, if we want to, um, you know, change individually just some of those uh, patterns. So um, it's going to be a great thing. Um, you can see the art, the artwork, uh, all of those things are not repeated. It's contained within the pattern repeated swatch. So there are not a ton of vectors. There's really just the one vector there. So we're going to save that and we'll compare that file size um, a little bit later on. Okay, so that's been saved. The next way uh, that I would like to uh, do this is using symbols. Okay, now symbols are a unique thing. They've been in Illustrator for a little while. Um, and what it means is very similar to the pattern idea is you only have the artwork embedded in your document once. Okay, here's how you create a symbol. You go to the symbols panel, select your artwork, drag and drop it into the symbols panel. Give it a, give it a name. Uh, let's call it uh, skate underscore one and then go ahead and, and press OK. Now what's happening is you'll see on the artwork, uh, yes, none of the vectors are there anymore. It's contained within the symbols panel. So what I can actually do is holding down my Alt or my Option key, I can just 
Uh, click and drag that to um, uh, duplicate it and then Command D to step and repeat that across the page and then select them all again vertically Alt Option key down again and then repeat them uh, this way okay so all of this artwork has not been repeated that many times okay all it is is individual references back to this one symbol in the symbols palette and that means though if I like to you know I can delete some I can actually make some um, if I if I like to uh, I can actually make some bigger or rotate them uh, bring them to the front send them to the back and they all just refer back to that one symbol so we can be a little bit more flexible I guess in this regard when we go ahead and, and start repeating symbols that way so complex artwork you should definitely think about um, using symbols now there is another way of doing this which is a little bit more mathematical in its approach for the step and repeat function so I'm just going to delete these ones here and show you another way of doing it we're keeping our one symbol our one piece of artwork on the screen and we're going to use the appearance panel let's zoom in a little bit on this so you can get a good look down the bottom of the appearance panel there is a FX button okay now these work on symbols but we just want to step and repeat we can use the distort and transform panel and go straight to transform and that brings up this transform effect now from here we can uh, turn on the preview for example and tell us oh we want to have uh, say 10 copies okay and then move horizontally we're going to say move this 90 because it's 90 wide and it will step and repeat that right across the page how about that that's pretty that's pretty exciting so that step and repeats it right across now we only have one symbol on the page and it's been transformed across but what if we want them down the page well all you need to do is go back to distort and transform and add another transformation apply new effect and this time we'll turn preview on instead of going horizontally we'll go vertically and the offset will be 120 millimeters from memory and then that will step and repeat down the page we still only have one symbol but there you go if you wanted little gaps in between them for example perhaps you could go back and edit this and we'll say oh well let's do the offset of being 150 and then we can space them out that way if we want put a different color behind and do all of those sorts of things I quite like it just nice and tidy so we're going to put that at 120 and we'll go ahead and press OK and then zoom back out so there's our repeated pattern now for the comparison what we're going to do is grab our I will zoom back out rather we're going to grab one of these and, and um, actually no we won't we'll, we'll just save that we'll come back over to this expanded one this has got all the vectors in it and we'll zoom back out and we won't use any of our fills we won't use patterns we won't use symbols we're simply going to duplicate it as is okay so we're going to include all of the artwork here and then vertically down the screen holding the alt key down there we go okay so we've got all of the vectors repeated multiple times and we'll save that uh, so I just press command s uh, you'll notice instantly that it's taking quite a bit longer to process that uh, to even save the file so we'll just give that a moment while that does that course the symbols being probably the most flexible you can use any effect on there you can change the opacity you can put shadows under them all of that stuff but any of the complex vector artwork is only considered in the document once or it's only it's only included in the document once I guess now once this is saved we'll be able to do a quick comparison on file size so remember that's the expanded one so let's jump over and have a look um, I'm just going to bring up my artwork here it is here and I'll select the expanded one we'll zoom in for this artwork 15.8 megabytes let's check the pattern 1.5 megabytes and the original uh, repeat 1.5 megabytes 
and the symbols a measly 1.6 megabytes. So definitely use a pattern, use a symbol, don't just repeat your artwork right across the entire document. Um, you're wasting space, you're wasting time. Hopefully you learned something out of today's episode of Creative Suite TV. We'll see you all again really soon. Yeah.